first time all year there's nobody at the top of Gray's Peak. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First impressions of the Innovate Terra Ultra G260s, a neutral trail running shoe from Innovate. In case you've never heard of this company, uh, it's not a huge company, but they are, I feel like they are spreading. Uh, they're based in England, I think Northwest England. And this is my third shoe, I believe, from Innovate. So I'm, co I'm continuing to build up my experience uh, with the company. And I'll just read a quote here that maybe helps uh, explain or personify the company a little bit. I think it's a good one. It's from Runner's World and it's this. It says, when the apocalypse finally comes, only Keith Richards and the Innovate Terra Ultra G260 will survive. I couldn't agree more because the build quality of all Innovate shoes that I've run in so far is just very, very high in my book. So good work Innovate creating high quality, durable uh, road shoes as well. I've never actually worn a road shoe from Innovate, but as far as their trail running shoe lineup, very uh, high build quality. Okay, let's dive into it. First of all, some specs on the Terra Ultra G260. So this shoe, the reason I took this shoe up into the mountains was to stretch out my legs one more time to get rid of the DOMS. So delayed onset muscle soreness because this shoe is a zero drop running shoe. That's right. Ultra, I think is the only other uh, trail shoe that I've ever worn that is a zero drop running shoe. So I'm really fascinated to see Innovate kind of make inroads into the zero drop uh, landscape as far as trail running shoes are concerned. We're looking at 17 millimeters in the heel, uh, 17 millimeters in the forefoot. So 17 minus 17 is zero. That's where that zero drop comes from. And as far as weight goes, we're looking at in men's size nine, 9.1 ounces or 260 grams. And here is my size on the screen right now. So pretty good weight, actually. That's not too heavy as far as a trail running shoe is concerned. Moving on to the upper in the Innovate Terra Ultra G260. Uh, what's crazy, so here we go, Kevlar continues to make inroads into different companies out there. This is the Hoka Evo Speed Goat, which is filled with Kevlar all through this upper. Basically, it increases the durability of the upper. So this uh, Terra Ultra G260 is built uh, very, very durable, very strong through the heel counter. So that's the back of the shoe here. This black is made of Kevlar right there on the heel. Amazing. It's like really, really high quality build with that heel counter. And a couple more points on the upper is that great lockdown. I felt really secure in the shoe on some pretty technical trails today and uh, the shoelaces. I can tell that they put some extra thought. I know it's a small detail, but it's actually a big de detail because the shoelaces lock you into the shoe and they just have a little elasticity to them, just a little bit, I don't know. As soon as I was lacing up, I was like, wow, these shoelaces, uh, I can tell somebody was thinking ahead when they uh, decided to create these particular shoelaces. So good work, Innovate, on the shoelaces. I should also mention it's a synthetic mesh through this upper. And for that 17 millimeter stack height midsole, they're calling it the Xtero Flow is the name of it through the midsole, which is a blend of TPU and EVA to help create a cushioned and responsive ride. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that in a minute when I talk about the comfort of the shoe. And for the outsole, so the graphene grip. Oh yeah, Innovate is known for developing this graphene uh, rubber outsole. So that's the black here on the bottom of the shoe. And it's supposed to be very durable. Now, I probably, I don't know when I'll get a chance to take an Innovate shoe to like, let's say 500 miles, just because I have to run in a lot of different shoes that uh, I don't know if I'll fully ever, I don't know, I hope so someday, but to be able to test the durability of that graphene outsole, but so far so good, uh, based on some past experience in other Innovate shoes, just like good build quality once again through the outsole, and it's the, 
It's basically the chemical compound, and I don't know all the chemistry. Actually, they do a great job on their website explaining that graphene grip, so I would encourage you to go check out their website if you want to learn more about this graphene grip outsole. Now, one, I guess, little uh, concern would be the four millimeter stack height on the, uh, on, the, on the lugs, I should say, the lug depth, four millimeters. I have found that on the mountain runs, and this is why I'm testing the shoes so you don't have to and you can save your money if you don't, uh, if you're looking for a shoe that needs better grip for the big mountain run. So four millimeter lug depth, no bueno, no good. You want six millimeter lug depth. So this shoe is only four millimeter. I, I was slipping quite a bit today, unfortunately, on the big mountain run. So uh, just another point for you there on the outsole. As far as comfort goes, for the Innovate Terra Ultra G260, again, very comfortable through the upper. I'm gonna talk about the midsole in a second. Um, and fit, great fit from heel to toe. I went true to size, so no issues there. And I would say the width of the shoe as well, uh, as far as in the, in the midfoot and the heel and the fore, like no, no issues with fit at all. I really like the fit of this shoe, a good snug fit for those uh, trails so you're not slipping out of the shoe when you're going up big mountains. Um, as far as the positive and the drawback, again, okay, comfort of the upper, but the drawback. Oh boy, oh boy, buckle up ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Innovate is, uh, 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 <laughs> they're advertising this shoe as an ultra shoe. No, 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 no. I don't know what they're thinking as an ultra running shoe, 17 millimeter stack height, that's not enough. I, so that is my major drawback. 17, in my humble opinion, I wanna see at least 22, at least 22 for the stack height through a midsole for an ultra running shoe. I'm concerned, everyone. I'm concerned about, and this is my big drawback, so I'm not excited about the, uh, the midsole. It was not comfortable. It, was, it, was, it wasn't stiff, but it wasn't cushioned enough. So I'm just very concerned, everyone, about the comfort of the midsole. And, uh, but there's hope, there's hope. Wait for it. I will say, okay, I'll save that actually. How would I use this shoe moving forward? A commuter shoe. Remember the Nike Wild Horse 5? I felt like that'd be a great shoe to commute to the trails because it's, I think those were actually a four millimeter lug depth as well. So not too tall. So if your apartment, your house is about 10, 15, 20 minutes uh, jog to get to trails or, or maybe to a park that has some great trail systems. Like if you live in Portland or St. Louis, um, New York, of course, like there's a lot of great big cities. I, I'm not, I'm just thinking United States right now, but um, uh, there's a lot of great cities with great parks, with great trail systems. So I would use this shoe to commute to the trails, let's say two to three miles, do six to 10 miles at the most in the trails, and then commute back to your house. So I wouldn't take this shoe past 13 miles, not with that stack height, I'm sorry. That's how I would use this shoe moving forward. So with all that said, I hate to say it everyone, no, I'm not taking the Innovate Terra Ultra G260 to 50 miles. Um, first of all, there's a lot of other shoes out there with more midsole that I'm more intrigued to run in, like the Hoka Evo Speed Goat, or frankly, even the Saucony Mad River TR. So yeah, I just, it breaks my heart, but I'm not taking it to 50 miles. And the price point, $150. I actually think it's close. If it was 140, I think I'd be very excited about that price point only because of the build quality. I think you could get 500 miles out of this shoe easy, no problem. So 150 is not horrible. Um, I wish it was 140 for everyone, but again, not horrible. So that's where I'm at with the Innovate Terra Ultra G260. I hope I didn't uh, ruffle too many feathers out there, uh, but I'm just, I'm just giving it to you straight uh, based on my 22 mile run. And I'm glad that I tested it for all of you uh, up in the mountains, especially so that you don't have to go out and buy this shoe and then realize, oh man, this is definitely not a mountain. It's a, it's a, it's a buffed out trail, you know, running through trails on, in parks, um, like there's so many great parks in Europe that have trails. I feel like this would be a good shoe for that, especially if you need to commute to the trails. 
to get there. Okay, everyone, that is it. Oh yeah, graphene is gonna be the keyword. Good luck spelling that graphene, which is the name of the outsole grip. And the question of the day, uh, shout out to all the uh, Innovate fans out there. What is your favorite shoe from Innovate right now? Let me know down in the comments. And then if you're looking to dive into some more Innovate shoes, we're gonna go to the Mud Claw on the right and on the left, a trail running shoe discussion that we had a couple months ago. I think you will enjoy both of those. All right, thank you for being here, everybody. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.